put it this way. You either hate Port or you love Port, and I don't love them, and I so I think Nord will win by 10 points. McIntosh in trouble, the ball taken off him, down he goes. Oh, lucky to get away with it. Dwayne Russell is down. Oh, Tom Warriors came in and went back. Well, I suppose it's the, the two premier clubs in South Australia, you know, won the most premierships between them. The eastern side of town versus the western side of town, the, the Toffs versus the, the workers. Well, he kicks over the shoulder rather than give it to Hammonds. Oh, it was a massive rivalry. I remember even right back to when I was a 14 year old when we lost the grand final in 1984. As a young fellow, I had a hatred for Nord back then. Oh look mate, it goes back as far as I remember as a young kid uh, sitting on the outer watching. It was always a, a fierce rivalry between the two teams. There was a, a, extra incentive to beat Nord because of the past history between the clubs. Port was so successful, you, you didn't like him because of that. Bradley with a run of it, great pace. pace, beautifully done. You love those games and that's what you played footy for. They were one of the sides that uh, I really enjoyed playing against. Uh, there's been some great contests over the years and uh, been really good to be part of that now. A sensational start to the 1984 grand final. Two players, Craig Baum and Tim Evans, may have been reported before the ball has even been bounced. They were always their number one rival, so, uh, but there was that healthy respect you knew that every time you played Norwood, no matter if we were up the top or down the bottom or vice versa, it was always a tough game. And it didn't matter if the one side was on, up the top and one side was down the bottom, both sides lifted to the occasion. It's explained to you pretty quick, so you either come on board and follow the ethos of the Port Adelaide Footy Club or you pretty well move on fast. No matter whether we played them here at Alberton or over at the parade, there was always a big crowd. It was always great to play well in those big games and, and uh, no coincidence, we played them a lot in finals and uh, you know, some fantastic games from some heartbreaking losses for us and some great wins. Toughest kicks ever and he's a long way out. He hits it at, oh, what a and he's kicked it I think. Hodges kicks it. I don't believe it. Port Adelaide, you are miracle workers. That is unbelievable. What Sean Hodges has, has kicked it. Unbelievable. What a player. That is one of the most difficult shots for a goal. You can...